Kyle Busch has won everything at Daytona except the 500, and you were right there. You made a deal with your teammate Denny Hamlin for that last restart. Was that the difference? Would you do it a different second time around? Um, I don't know. Strengths in numbers. You know, we're trying to at least protect one of our cars being able to get to victory lane, and I felt like we were able to do that with uh, with being able to, to do what we did on that last restart. But overall, it's... Um, you know, certainly bittersweet. You know, it's awesome to see a JGR car in victory lane for Joe and JD and everything that's kind of gone on this offseason with all of that. Um, but it's very, very bittersweet for everybody at M&M's and Interstate Batteries and um, Skittles and Snickers and all those that support us and all my team guys that work so hard to try to get to victory lane for us and, and trying to get our, our Daytona 500 victory. You know, he's got two, I got none, but uh, that's a part of it sometimes, and, and we just have to move on and go to next time. You seemed apprehensive to go along with that plan when it was presented to you. In hindsight, do you wish you'd have just raced it out like you had the time before? Uh, yes and no. I mean, again, uh, trying to make sure at least one of us got to victory lane is first and foremost. And, um, you know, after that, you try to go race it out and see what you can do for yourself and for your team. But, um, you know, there, there wasn't enough cars out there, really. I mean, there were six cars running at the end. I don't know that anything would have been any different, really, if anything would have materialized. I think we all would have just been stuck side by side, given if I would have been on the outside or something like that. So it's, it's so hard to tell. I, I don't know how it would have played out, but I'm not going to worry about it. Thanks, Kyle.